They say lightning doesn't strike twice. In the UFC, it does. This is where legends are rewritten, legacies are defined, and scores are settled. This ain't just about winning or losing. This is about evolution, redemption, and etching your name in combat history. In this episode, we will count down top six rematches that shocked the world and settled the score between fierce rivals. Let's get started. Number six, TJ Dillashaw versus Cody Garbrandt. At number six, we have the rematch between former teammates and bitter enemies TJ Dillashaw and Cody Garbrandt, who fought for the bantamweight title at UFC 227. Dillashaw and Garbrandt had a heated feud that stemmed from Dillashaw's departure from Team Alpha Male, where Garbrandt trained. The two coaches on The Ultimate Fighter 25 and their rivalry reached a boiling point at UFC 217, where Dillashaw knocked out Garbrandt in the second round to reclaim the belt. Garbrandt was granted an immediate rematch, and the two met again at UFC 227 in a highly anticipated fight. However, the rematch was even more decisive than the first, as Dillashaw dropped Garbrandt twice in the first round and finished him with a flurry of punches, silencing his rival and cementing his legacy as one of the best bantamweights of all time. Number 5. Rose Namajunas vs. Joanna Yedrzejczyk At number 5, we have the rematch between Rose Namajunas and Joanna Yedrzejczyk, who fought for the strawweight title at UFC 223. Namajunas shocked the world by knocking out Jeder Zaychik in the first round at UFC 217. She was doing a great job of fate! That is it! It's over! Oh, oh, Rose, no. Ending her dominant reign as the champion and handing her her first MMA loss. Jeder Zaychik claimed that she had a bad weight cut and that she was not herself in the first fight, and she vowed to regain her title and prove that she was still the best. The two faced off again at UFC 223 in a highly competitive and technical fight where Namajunas showed her improved striking and composure while Yedrzejczyk displayed her trademark volume and pressure. The fight went the distance and Namajunas retained her title by a close split decision, proving that her first win was not a fluke and that she was the new queen of the strawweight division. Number 4. Stipe Miocic vs. Daniel Cormier At number 4, we have the rematch between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier, who fought for the heavyweight title at UFC 241. Cormier and Miocic first met at UFC 226, where Cormier moved up from light heavyweight to challenge Miocic, who was the longest reigning heavyweight champion in UFC history. Cormier stunned Miocic by knocking him out in the first round. The two finally met again at UFC 241. The rematch was a thrilling fight, with Cormier dominating the first three rounds with his striking and wrestling, while Miocic weathered the storm and made adjustments in the fourth round. Miocic targeted Cormier's body with a series of punches, which eventually opened up his head and allowed him to land a devastating knockout, becoming the first fighter to finish Cormier and regaining his title in dramatic fashion. Undisputed UFC! Number three, Anderson Silva versus Chael Sonnen. At number three, we have the rematch between Anderson Silva and Chael Sonnen, who fought for the middleweight title at UFC 148. The two first met at UFC 117, where Sonnen dominated Silva for four and a half rounds with his wrestling and striking, before Silva pulled off a miraculous submission in the final minutes of the fight, retaining his title and extending his winning streak. The two met again at UFC 148 in a highly anticipated rematch. The rematch was a tense and dramatic fight, with Sonnen taking Silva down in the first round and controlling him, while Silva defended and landed some elbows from the bottom. In the second round, Silva stuffed Sonnen's takedown attempt and caught him with a knee to the chest, followed by a barrage of punches that forced the referee to stop the fight, giving Silva a decisive victory and ending the feud. By Number 2. John Jones vs. Alexander Gustafsson At number 2, we have the rematch between John Jones and Alexander Gustafsson, who fought for the light heavyweight title at UFC 232. Jones and Gustafsson first met at UFC 165. Want to touch gloves, touch them now. 
Step back. Good luck to both of you. Where they put on one of the greatest fights in UFC history, Jones retained his title by a close unanimous decision. The undisputed U.S. The two finally met again at UFC 232. One. Come on out and handle your business. Let's kick to the knees. Where Jones was looking to reclaim his title and prove his dominance, while Gustafsson was looking to avenge his loss and become the champion. The rematch was a completely different fight from the first, as Jones dominated Gustafsson with his striking and wrestling and finished him with ground and pound in the third round, becoming the light heavyweight champion once again and silencing any doubts about his superiority. Just too many big... And no! Number one. Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. At number one, we have the highly anticipated rematch between Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor, who first met at UFC 196 in a short notice welterweight bout. Paul against Southpaw. Conor's movement. Diaz pulled off a stunning upset by submitting McGregor in the second round, handing him his first UFC loss and sparking a heated rivalry. Oh my! McGregor demanded a rematch at the same weight class and the two faced off again at UFC 202. Those are brutal leg kicks he's landing on Nate. In one of the biggest pay-per-view events of all time. Over and over. The rematch was a back and forth war, with both fighters landing heavy shots and showing incredible toughness. McGregor managed to edge out a majority decision victory, avenging his loss and evening the score with Diaz. The fight was widely praised as one of the best in UFC history, and fans are still clamoring for a trilogy bout to settle the score once and for all. Back up to his feet. Redemption. From McGregor's redemption to Jones's downfall, each rematch tells a story of grit, strategy, and evolution. As the judges... These second clashes weren't just about winning or losing. They were about defining legacies and etching names in combat history. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, smash that like button and let us know in the comments which rematch you think deserves its own episode. Can't, they can't be as confident. I don't mind getting rich off a of knocking coat. Right, but she made an adjustment and started attacking your leg. How much of that? Bye. No! Blocked by Gustafson. So and still! Don't forget to subscribe for more UFC content, fight breakdowns, and analysis. Until next time, keep it locked here. Got it. Nate Diaz beats Conor McGregor. And remember, in the UFC, anything is possible.